In today's video, we'll be continuing our series on doing reviews of AI Copywriter. We will be reviewing Agility Writer, which is one of the best AI copywriters and one of the best reviewed AI copywriters in the space. So let's go ahead and get started, generate some content and see how the output compares to ChatGPT and other AI copywriters. Once you sign up for Agility Writer, this is what your dashboard will look like. We'll start by using the advanced mode because this will allow us to see all of the features that are included in Agility Writer. We'll be using the same title that we've been using to generate content for the past couple of videos. So how to start and grow an AI SaaS company in 2023. We're gonna make our main keyword the same as the title and then we're gonna generate an article title. So I believe it's already generated that title. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our article. We can choose how many headings we like. So I like that we have the customization option. We can also choose our article structure. So it can be advanced, it can be detailed, it can be text, it can be long. So let's go ahead and do the standard article structure. And if you wanna know exactly what that is, you can click on the question mark and this will tell you exactly what this specific setting will do or what it means. So if we're using advanced standard, the AI decides the article length and format. It uses text, long text, bullet, and number list. Essentially, the AI will figure out what is the best format for this specific article. And for the GPT version, we'll be using a mix of GPT 3.5 or we can also use GPT 4. I like GPT 4 much better, so let's go ahead and just use GPT 4. For factual data, this is where we can actually include factual data um, by using Agility. So this is pretty awesome because Agility allows you to connect um, GPT with the live internet and include factual data. So we can choose to include in-depth factual data. And for tone of voice, we'll do informative. For point of view, we'll leave that at auto. For writing style, this is where we can choose what type of writing style in which we would like. So we can do um, SEO, which is authoritative. We can do health, which is again authoritative. We can do um, news, we can do anti-AI, we can do informal, we can do a concise tone, or we can do an auto from SERP. So let's go ahead and do the auto from SERP. So essentially it will read the SERP on whatever tone they're using, that's what it's going to emulate. And for introduction and conclusion, we'll leave this as concise. And we can also add custom instructions if we like, but we don't need to do so. So once your settings are completed, you can go ahead and hit create outline. And as you can see here, the AI will start creating the outline. You also have the choice between how many outlines you would like the AI to create. If you wanted to create two or three outlines, then you can select that, but I've just selected one outline. And as you can see, the AI has created that outline. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So this is the outline in which we get back. Intro, what is a SaaS product? The benefits of AI for SaaS, personalization, da da da. Steps to creating an AI SaaS product, future of AI and a conclusion. Okay, so this is a pretty decent outline. I would say um, for words it's about 2,000 words we can also go ahead and add in our key um, our keywords if we'd like to do so but I think I'm pretty happy with this I'm gonna add a key takeaway I'm gonna add a FAQ I'm gonna add um, let's try to add YouTube videos let's try to add we're gonna improve readability we're gonna try to include some links so I think that's good and for images let's try to do three AI images we're gonna leave the settings as is and then we're gonna to add to writing queue. So what it's going to do now, it's going to go ahead and it's going to start creating this content. So this is in the queue right now. So we'll start creating another um, article using a different mode and then we'll come back and check this after the fact, but this is now being created. So now let's go ahead and use the optimize mode, which allows us to auto optimize an SEO um, optimized article. So we're going to click new optimize article. We're gonna enter our title. We're going to keep it to the US, we're going to keep it to language to English, we're going to generate an article for four credits. So we have to wait up to three minutes, we're crawling the search result to draft the article if you receive a timeout error, blah blah blah. So essentially what it's going to do is it's going to crawl the search result for this specific search query and it's going to create a draft for the article. So this again takes away a lot of the heavy lifting from you because it's using information from the SERP to then figure out what it needs to write for the specific article. Okay, so this is the SERP overview for this keyword, which is how to start and grow an AI SaaS company in 2023. So we're gonna deselect LinkedIn, we're gonna deselect any other websites that are either user generated like Quora or Reddit or YouTube. We only wanna select blog posts that we can actually compare against. So we're gonna select this article here. We're also gonna select um, the last article by Neo Ito. And then we're going to save website selection and we're going to create an outline. So it's going to use that information to create an outline. 
if we scroll down we can further customize this article so again we can have the word count to be whatever we like it to be so let's say we want 2000 words we can change up the article structure we'll do gpt4 and we can see the outline right below we see the intro overview of ai SaaS company reasons to start an ai SaaS company steps to starting financing options da 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 designing your market strategy and so on so if you'd like to we can either add this to a writing queue or we can create a new outline so let's go ahead and try creating a new outline and see if this is able to give us better outputs so again we just need to select or deselect any of our websites save website selection and i believe we just scroll down here and here we have a new outline here um, so we have about 10 different points for this specific article. So once we're happy with this, then again, we can go ahead and select or deselect any of the advanced settings and we can add this to a writing queue. So again, this is a second article that's been added to our writing queue. While those articles are generating, let's use the one click mode. We're going to change our region to the United States. We're going to click get an article title. Then we're going to keep the article link to long. We're going to change the article structure to advanced. We're going to use GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. We're going to add standard factual data and we're going to keep everything else as is. We're going to add some AI images and then we're going to add this to the writing queue. So as you can see, that mode is much, much easier to use. It takes you less than a minute to set up and for you to generate your content. So that's why Agility Writer is liked by a lot of people is because you have a variety of different ways in which you can generate content. You can either take a more manual approach by using the advanced mode or you can use the one click mode, which takes away all of the heavy lifting for you. Now, you also have a couple of different modes here. We have the product roundup. So this will allow you to create product roundup articles using Agility Writer. You also have the website page, which allows you to build your business website pages using Agility. So let's say you wanted to create a whole page for your website. You can do so using uh, this template. We also have the YouTube to article template. So this allows you to write articles from a YouTube video. I believe you can just enter, yep, you can just enter the YouTube URL and then you can validate it and then you'll be able to create an article from um, a YouTube video. They also have the ability to rewrite articles, which means you can rewrite an article from a page URL. You have a bulk one-click mode, which allows you to write up to 50 generic topic articles. And you have a bulk advanced mode, which allows you to create bulk articles with auto silo links. So a lot of different features included in Agility Writer. Um, as you can see here, it's a very, very advanced tool in terms of creating content um, using AI, but also allowing you to do so a lot quicker than it would take you to use GPT or the Playground mode. So while these articles are being generated, I want to let you guys know that I have opened up enrollment for my AI mastery course. If you'd like to enroll into that course, check out the link in the description below. There's an exclusive discount for you guys that are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So make sure you go ahead and check it out if you like to write the best quality content using AI. So the articles are now completed. The advanced mode was completed first, followed by the one click mode and the optimized uh, mode is still in progress, but it took a little bit longer than it would take you to manually create the articles using chat gpt but let's go ahead and take a look at the length and the output quality so this is the first article we can either download it or i believe we can just take a look at it let's go ahead and download it first this is the full article how to successfully start and grow an ai SaaS company 2023 this is the image in which the ai created not the best image but again not too bad starting an ai SaaS company is a thrilling venture but the road to success can be fraught with obstacles ai SaaS industry is on track to hit a staggering 344 billion by 2027 this article will guide you through the essential steps to launch and expand your ai driven platform and we have key takeaways here what is a SaaS product we have a nice image again um, a little bit of imperfections there but not too bad um, so it talks about what a SaaS product is there is a youtube video here let's see if this works okay yes yeah, so we got a nice video from tk there the benefits of ai for SaaS companies um, another youtube video that's pretty good because you can always go ahead and embed these videos into the content predictive analysis and that's security steps to creating an ai SaaS product ideation and planning designing the product maintenance feature conclusion with an faq at the end we get a catchy title made a description and then we also get factual data so general facts and then we get sources so we can go ahead and go through these sources and include this information throughout the article overall i would say that that was a pretty decent article and the length wasn't too bad about 2300 words now let's go ahead and look at the article that we got from the one click mode so this was the one click article how to start and grow an ai SaaS company in 2023 Again, we get an AI image, not bad, but we can see some imperfections there. In 
industry, the integration of AI in SaaS is not just as innovative, it's vital for staying competitive. Key takeaways, again, let's see if these links work. They do work, so that is a really good sign. Establishing relevant metrics, collaboration with AI, and so forth. And we get some nice lists here and a conclusion. Again, this is a decent article. You would definitely have to go ahead and read through these specific articles to see, you know, what kind of stands out from the others in terms of output quality and which one is better than the other. But overall, I would say that agility has been pretty easy to use. Um, just keep in mind that if you are using the optimization mode, it takes a little bit longer compared to the one click or the advanced mode. That is maybe just how the tool is set up, but it's very easy to use for beginners. And as you can see here, you can generate a pretty decent article. If I had to compare this article with the article that I generated manually using the playground mode, I would say that I am able to create better articles using the playground mode, but that's because you have more customization options. You can steer the AI in the direction which you like it to go. Um, but you don't have things such as we can automatically include YouTube videos or we can automatically um, include factual data. So those are different things that is available in Agility Writer that's not available when you're using the playground mode. As with most of the other tools that I've reviewed, if you are new to using AI writers and you want to use a tool that will take away all of the heavy lifting from you so you don't have to prompt it, you don't have to worry about getting the best quality content, then you can use a tool like Agility Writer, which already um, has all of the prompts, it has all of the features included. All you have to do is essentially just pop in whatever title you would like to create and select some settings and you'll get a pretty decent article. So that's my review of Agility Writer. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this tool. If you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.